Health Committee Chair Senator Dennis Rodriguez told PNC News today that he felt compelled to subpoena the settlement agreement between Dr. George Macris and GMH because he got no response to his previous requests for the documents. This issue has been brought to my attention about two months ago, and I've tried um, uh, working with the hospital, working with the administration through um, sunshine requests. Um, those were met with resistance. And so we were left with no other choice but to um, um, take this action, which is a legislative subpoena in, in obtaining the documents that, that we're requesting. Rodriguez wants an official copy of the settlement agreement between GMH and Dr. Macris, a not yet finalized copy of that agreement obtained by PN. C News stipulates that Macris will drop all legal action against the hospital and in exchange GMH will void the peer review results that led to the suspension of Dr. Macris's license to practice. However, Rodriguez emphasizes that the issue for him is the sanctity of that peer review process. It's not about the person, he said, it's about the principle. The main purpose of this whole issue here is, is ensuring that we have a medical peer review process at the hospital that is kept sacred. A medical peer review is sacrosanct. And so um, that's the whole issue here. And if we have a non-medical entity that can overturn what uh, a committee of physicians, you know, decide and and um, fine on one of their peers, um, then there's a problem there, you know. And so this is not about a specific physician. Um, I think, um, you know, people may be looking in that direction, but this is not about a specific p a physician. This is about ensuring the people of Guam that we have a process that um, they can be confident about. Acting GMH Administrator Ray Vega referred PNC News to GMH Attorney Tom Fisher, who was not available for an on-camera comment. But he told PNC News via email that the Macris case has not yet been dismissed by the court and that GMH is looking at Senator Rodriguez's subpoena and will address it according to law. We're going to hope that um, they're going to comply with the legislative subpoena and provide the documents uh, that we're requesting. Um, and from there, well, we'll, we'll move from there. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.